What's up, everyone? Flatman 14. Uh, last episode, we went against the uh, people of the Fire Club here, like John, Jonathan, and uh, Adam. Ah, oh, yeah, I remembered your name, Adam. This episode, we're going to go against the uh, Fire Club leader, Ken, for our final Master Medal, the Fire Master, Ma Master Medal. So, very excited about that. Without further ado, uh, let me choose my deck. We're going to go with the Thunder deck here for no particular reason. And let's do it, Ken. Let's do it. I am Ken, the Fire Club Master. I see you have collected more cards. Then let's begin our duel. Uh, would you like to duel, Ken? Yeah. We'll play with six prizes. If you win, I'll give you a medal. Come on, let's start the duel. And Fire Club Master Ken, and with the Fire Charge deck. Let's do it, Ken. Let's do it, buddy. Aw, Club Master Metal Music. Here we go. Let's see what we start with. Flying Pikachu, Spiro. Good start, good start. We'll start with Spiro because he has free retreat. And we'll throw a Zapdos on the bench and we'll call it good. Let's see what he starts with before I make my decision. Oh, okay, he's going first. Chansey! Oh, God, not Chansey. <sighs> well, here we go, guys. As you can see here, Chansey has Scrunch, but, uh, and Double Edge. Scrunch, if hits, prevent all damage. Uh, yeah, Double Edge, Chansey does 80 damage to itself, but more importantly, you may notice, uh, check out all the circles up top. Yeah, this thing has 120 HP, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna be in this duel for a little while. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Ken, you just had to, I mean, okay, I could go with Flying Pikachu here. <laughs> but, I mean, ultimately, this thing has so much HP, and we do have Defender as well. I think I'm just going to start pumping up Zapdos. I mean, I guess we'll have Spiro Peck in the meantime, but, I mean, this thing is just going to... Oh, and he has another one. Oh, God. Ken, buddy, 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 buddy. But, yeah, if his Scrunch fails, just... I mean, damage him in the meantime, I guess. But, uh, yeah, if he has Chansey, try to get your most powerful move ready, man. Because, yeah, or just hope he uses Double Edge a lot and, you know, <laughs> damages himself, I guess. But most of the time, most uh, club masters that have Chansey, they'll just use Scrunch over and over and over and over again to annoy you. So, I don't know, man. I mean, uh, this thing... Luckily, we really haven't ran into this thing like a lot, a lot over the course of the LP. And luckily, also, he's getting a lot of tails. But, I mean, come on, bro. That thing is just so... I mean, don't get me wrong. I like Chansey when I'm using it. Like, it's good. But it's just like, man, for a club master to use it. Oh, and he's Professor Oak. He's building up this Pokemon on the bench in the meantime. It's just like... Uh, weekly time. Weekly time. Oh man, that thing is beastly. We'll check that out after this turn. Okay, he finally got heads, which means we can't uh, damage him. Uh, one thing about Scrunch you may want to know, though. Any other effects of attack still happen. So, I mean, honestly, I could go for Paralysis on Flying Pikachu. And that might be worth it, really. Um, but his HP is so low at this point that I think uh, just finishing Zapdos here... Uh, I don't know, if he starts getting like a lot of heads in a row, maybe I will switch to Flying Pikachu. But more importantly, check out this Wigglytuff. Uh, luckily we haven't run into this a lot either. It's got 80 HP for any colorless. It can use Lullaby, put you to sleep. But the more dangerous attack, do the wave, yeah. Does 10 damage plus 10 more damage for each of your bench Pokemon. But that's a big problem, that's a big problem. Speaking of bench Pokemon, something that may also help us out. Oh, is he gonna... Thank you! Oh my god, thank you. I know he's going to get a prize from this, but wow, most leaders won't go for double edge. Ken, buddy, thank you. No, seriously, like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, we got Professor Oak. Let's go with good old Zapdos, shall we? Ah, and he put the other Chansey in. Okay, okay. But this one doesn't have any energy on it. Mmm, all right, all right. Thank you. I, I, I can't believe he did that. Honestly, guys, I know he took a prize, but that was best case scenario for us. Oh, and we didn't damage ourselves good. But uh, yeah, that was really like for him to take 80 damage to himself. Uh, okay, he failed good. 
I mean, oh, he's got another one. Oh my god, this guy. Haha, <laughs> trying to recycle your chancy, but you failed. Fail, fail, fail. Yeah, but for him to uh, take out his own chancy, I mean, honestly, I, I thought this duel was going to be a little, you know, uh, it, you know, in the toilet, let's say. But uh, for him to do that, that honestly helped us out a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, one thing I will do here, we have item finder. So just to, um, just to avoid the risk of, uh, thunder damaging us, I am going to use defender and, okay, okay, okay. Either way, like if he throws in his magmar or whatever, we'll avoid, uh, damage. So yeah, yeah, and he did throw in magmar, so defender is going to help us here. So yeah, fire punch instead of doing 30, will now just do 10 damage. Wow. All right, this is going, okay, since he knocked out his own chancy, this is really turning around. Um, okay, so we'll throw on the bench. And like I said, let's let's go ahead and use this item finder, discard switch and lightning, and we'll take the other defender that, was, that we just used, use it again, and then we're gonna use Professor Oak. Seven cards, baby, seven cards. Let's see what we get here. That's what I like to see, some double colorless. Yeah, and a bill. Ooh, gust of wind, and another bill. Ooh. Hmm. Like the buzz? Okay, Spiro. Um, let's throw down Spiro, just because. We got a lot of double colorless. Maybe we'll draw Fero. Um, gust of wind. Uh, ooh. Ooh, I could take out Growlithe. Uh, you know, and I really, like I told you guys in the last episode, I really, 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 really don't want him to evolve into Arcanine. So you know what? You know what? We drew this gust of wind. Maybe the heart of the card is trying to tell us something. Throw in the Growlithe. Thunder. One shot, baby. Another head. We're getting really lucky with the coin, too. We're getting really lucky. Okay. Another prize. That's our third prize. Magmar's back. That's okay. I can take another 10 damage your fire punch it's okay that's okay okay and also by doing that you know we're clearing his bench for uh this thing is due to the wave so either way we're doing good uh we get a lot of lightning okay the question is which pokemon do i build up because zapdos will eventually go down i'm assuming let's build up pikachu it's got the most hp and i've also got it halfway ready and then we'll finish with flying pikachu and uh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Zapdos. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you gotta expect the tails at some point. You know, so. All right, Zapdos, you you did good for us though. E bro, perfect, perfect. I got all these double colorless energy. That's perfect. Oh, just player. Well, we can take this thing out with thunder. Um. Ooh, 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 ooh. Perfect. Okay, so let's uh. This is really good for the draw for us. Let's double call the Spiro. Let's item finder. Uh, let's discard lightning. And we'll discard the selective bus, sure. And I'll grab defender again. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, this deck's so good. And even if I damage myself, you're going down, Growlithe. Oh, heads, Zapdos, clutch. And I'm glad I did get heads there because uh, that kind of insulates us. So he's, oh, and another defender. Dude, we're getting the perfect draw here. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh yeah, he's gonna put us to sleep though. Okay, okay, come on Zapdos, please. I know you carry this in this duel. You've done a lot, but please. Heads, 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 heads. <gasps> yes, yes. Oh, it's happening, it's happening, folks. And we don't even need to do anything else because Zapdos has another attack. Thunderbolt, baby, 100 damage. Yeah, suck on that, Wiggly Tough. Thunderbolt. <laughs> oh man, the Zapdos just sold all of his Pokemon. And we win, Ken. We win. The only prize you got to take was that Chansey, buddy. <laughs> oh, that was freaking awesome. Uh, that was a great duel. Here, let me give you this. And we get the Fire Metal, Mr. Metal. Now, to be fair, guys, to be fair, I did get really, really. <laughs> I can't believe that. I got really, really, really lucky with the coin, obviously, and with the trainer uh, cards and with the draw. So don't take that to be like, you know, oh, you know, Ken's really easy. No, 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 no. As you saw there with his Chansey and his Wigglytuff, like his strategy is obviously to stall you with his Chansey. 
and then uh, yeah, throw in like his his powered up uh, uh, Magmar Wiggly stuff. And yes, he does have Arcanine, so watch out, watch out. With this, you are a little closer to the legendary Pokemon cards. You have no idea, kid. Yeah, take this too. It will help you out. And we get some mystery packs, guys. All right, and we get the other Zapdos. Very old. Ah, double couple of nice. Brozy. All right, Oodish, Oodish. All right, what else we got first game? Electro. Yeah, this one's interesting. You've got a uh, Tackle and Chain Lightning. <gasps> oh, we got another Dratini. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna have to check my dragons after this. Because I do want to show off Dratini and the Dragonair line. Let's play I heat it again. See you later. All right, see you again. All right, guys, but with that, we finally have all eight Master Medals, heck yeah, heck yeah. And an epic duel of epic proportions. <laughs> oh man, Zapdos carried us so hard there. All right, let's check the mail for Mason. What does he have to say now? Flood in Mod 14, it's me, Dr. Mason. You're finally going to be dueling a Grand Master, right? Since we have all eight medals now. Grand Master, uh, Grandmaster Courtney uses a legendary Moltres, so her deck will be made of fire Pokemon. Be sure to use water Pokemon, since water Pokemon are the weakness of fire Pokemon. Other than that, just watch how your opponent plays and choose your strategy accordingly. Uh, you're almost there. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Dr. Mason. All right, what do we get here? Gyarados? Uh, yeah. Meow. And Charmander. Okay. But, uh, as per usual, we're not gonna go for the Master Medals yet. In fact, where are we on time? Yeah, that duel actually didn't go as long as I thought it would take, mainly because he uh, took out his own Chansey for us, but uh, anyway, uh, let's go here as is tradition and insert the final Master Medal, and we'll look at some of the decks, you know, insert the Fire Medal, yeah, okay, so these are the decks uh, everyone at the Fire Club used, um, this is the one Ken has, so let's check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the Arcanine I was talking about. Check this out. Flame, 100 HP, Flamethrower for 50, and Takedown. Yeah, Arcanine does 30 damage to itself, but much like uh, my Zapdos, you can use uh, Defenders to circumvent that. So, Also, it's guaranteed. It's not on the coin flip, but still, this thing has 100 HP, so it may give you a lot of trouble if uh, he can evolve into that. So... Yeah, he's also got, uh, oh, he's got the promo Jigglypuffs that we got from Ronald. And, uh, yeah, uh, Wigglytuff. He's only got one Wigglytuff? That's surprising. Well, he got lucky and top decked it. He has two Chansey, two Tauros. Yeah, this deck's really good, man, honestly. Uh, let's check out some of the other decks. Uh, replace them all. Gotta replace them all, Pokemon. Uh, oh. Maybe this is a deck designed to, like, make your opponent reshuffle? Also, this guy has the, uh, yeah, the promo Arcanine with Flames of Rage. Pretty good, yeah, pretty good. Uh, it does extra damage if, uh, Arcanine has damage on it, so. Oh, I guess I kind of see, yeah. Because Pidgeot can, uh, use Hurricane to shuffle, put stuff in your opponent's hand, and then you can use, a uh, Mix-Up to shuffle. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, interesting deck, interesting deck. Uh, Fire Pokemon deck. This one seems to be, like, a generic deck. Let's see. Oops. Oh. Uh, read the instructions. Oh, yeah, so this one has... With Fire Pokemon like Charizard, Rapidash, and Magmar, it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so this one just seems to have, like... Uh, just about all the fire Pokemon available. Yeah, so... Okay. And Traffic Light. That's interesting. Uh, oh, so is this like an Eeveelution deck? Yeah, it's got some Charmander, Ponyta. Well, I guess Ponyta can use its colorless attacks. Yeah. And so can Rapidash. Yeah, it has Stomp. Yeah, it is an Eeveelution deck. Okay, okay. Interesting. Yeah, and it goes with the promo Eeveelution. That makes sense. Yeah, as well as uh, Bus Tower and stuff. Okay. Well, anyway, you can check out those decks if you want. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is we do have a little time left in the episode. And as you guys have seen, we do have all, uh, all the Master Medals. So, let's go here to the Challenge Hall. And remember, we couldn't go in this place before. Uh, wow, we have 210 out of the 226 cards. That's cool. Um, but, yeah, it's time, guys. So, um... Honestly, I didn't think we got time for it in this episode, but we're going to start the uh, challenge for the Grandmasters. Yeah, and we've uh, seen this before. 
Defeat the eight Masters of the Eight Clubs and attain the eight medals. Once attained, defeat the Grandmaster here at Pokemon Dome. Yep, so uh, let's, uh, let's see what deck we have up. The Zapdos deck, you know what? I think we'll go with the Zapdos deck to start. So, only those who have won all eight Master Medals may enter the Grand Hall. You have won eight Master Medals, enter the Grand Hall. And guys, here we go. This is it, this is it. This is like the Elite Four. Possessor of all eight Master Medals, enter the dueling stage. However, you will be unable to turn back. Yeah, just like in the Elite Four, you have to duel them all again in a row. Enter the dueling stage? Sure. In that case, enter the dueling stage. Let's do it, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Welcome to Pokemon Doom. I am Rod, <laughs> leader of the Grand Masters, and this is the Grand Master Courtney, the Fire Queen. Grandmaster of Lightning, Thunder Steve. Oh no, it's Steve Arcana. What's next, Steve the Mime? Grandmaster of Ice, gentlemanly check. We are the four Grandmasters who guard the legendary Pokemon cards. If you can defeat us all, then you will have the right to earn the legendary Pokemon cards. This is what the game's all about, uh, folks. Floodmon 14, take your place at the table. All right, let's do it, let's do it. It's time to duel. Your first opponent shall be Courtney. All right, mm-hmm, I, Courtney, the Fire Queen, shall be your first opponent. We shall see if you can take the heat, a six prizes match. Mm-hmm, let's go to it. And, uh, yeah, do not take any of these guys here as a joke. They have some of the best decks and the best cards in the game. Grandmaster Courtney, Legendary Multishick, and let's hear it, guys. Let's hear the all, some of the best, I would consider this the best music in the game. Let's hear it. Oh yeah, listen to that. I, I, I'm just gonna do the first few turns while you guys listen to the epic music. All right, uh, let's go with Brian Pikachu. that can attack the bench and uh yeah in the meantime let's just attack with flying pikachu ah you're paralyzed good that means you can't attack me all right courtney what you got oh yeah and that is the legendary moltres check this out yeah fire giver whenever you put moltres into play during your turn put up to one to four chosen at random uh fire energy card from your deck into your hand shuffle your deck afterward that is a really, really powerful Pokemon power. Oh, and we got lucky. She only got one fire energy. That is pretty lucky, I will say. Like, most of the time, she'll get, like, eh, three or four, you know. Uh, now, as far as what I want to pump up, you know, much like last duel, we do have the Defender. So I think I want to go with Zapdos in the meantime. I know this uh, Pikachu, yeah, can use Fly. If I get a double colorless, I'll go for fly, but uh, otherwise, we're just gonna uh, use Thundershock in the meantime, you know, while we build up. She's building up her whole picks. We're gonna build up our uh, uh, heavy hitter Zapdos, so that's the plan. Um, do I have Spiro? No, okay. Alright, Thundershock. Oh, we failed, okay. It's okay, it's okay, Pikachu. I ain't mad at you. See, is she gonna get the confusion though? That's the question. If head's confused, uh, that kind of sucks to be honest. Hmm. And I really, 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 really don't like confusion in this game. Dang, we got the double colorless too. Huh. Well, something I could do here. Hmm. I could switch into a Pikachu. That's the dilemma I'm in now. I've almost got Zapdos built up. So do I just risk the confusion damage? Or do I switch into like this Pikachu and then knock out Voltix right now? Huh. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna build up Zapdos and Flying Pikachu. We're gonna hope for the best. I mean, I may get Tails here, but... Oh, okay, okay. 
I'm about to say, if I get two hits in a row, bro, that would be super duper lucky. Okay. Oh, she retreated to... Ah. Ah, smart. Smart. She didn't let us get the prize, and she knocked out Flying Pikachu. But you know what? That's okay. That's okay, because now Zapdos is here, baby, and uh, we're going to use a little something I like to call Thunder. Yeah. Now, do I use Defender? Here's the question. Uh, I don't think so. Not yet. We've got full HP, so... Oh, don't even mess up. That sucks. But, uh, you know, the strongest thing she has right now can only do... Uh... Oh, that was weird. Can only do skin damage anyway, so... Oh, and she's throwing Moltres out right away. This is honestly really good for us, and I'll show you guys why. Okay, okay. Magmar. Oh, that sucks. Oh, energy removal. Yeah. Yeah, the Grandmasters will use that, but, uh... Yeah, let's check out this Moltres' attacks. So, yes, I, I told you it has Fire Giver, but it has 100 HP. It also has Dive Bomb. If tells it does nothing, uh, it does 70 damage, but the key thing is she needs 3 energy to even to attempt to use that attack. So, let's throw this other Zapdos on the bench. Let's, um... Let's repair this Zapdos with a Double Colorless. Uh, well, actually... Yeah, because I want to save my lightnings for my other mods, so... And I don't really see myself using Thunderbolt. Well, actually... No, 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 let's throw this on. And, uh... Let's just go for Thunder. Oh, man, we're getting really unlucky with the coin there, but, uh... Oh, man, that kind of sucks, but, uh, it's okay, it's okay. What we're trying to do here is obviously take out her Moltres ASAP. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh that's a good draw for us. Uh, let's put this on Zapdos. Let's Super Potion that we just drew. Let's heal Zapdos. Oh, man, that is lucky, that is lucky. And let's just go for Thunder. Yeah. Oh, man, we got Tails again. Maybe I should have used Defender there, but, you know. It's okay, it's okay. We knocked out her Moltres really early, and uh, honestly, that may be worth it. So let's see what she does here. Bill? Okay. Yeah, drawing more cards. Growlithe? Okay. Pumping up her Vulpix. Yeah, she likes to smoke screen with this Magmar a lot. So just be just be aware of that, you know. She will smoke screen with this one quite a lot. Um, luckily for us, um, we can actually avoid smoke screen kind of uh, by switch using our switch card if we really need to. Um, and in fact, I'm thinking about doing that right now. What if I switch to this Pikachu and go for Spark and then come back in? Yeah come back in for Zapdos for the finishing blow. Uh, that may be a good idea. Uh, let's see, or should I just use Defender? And I mean, she doesn't really have too much energy on anything right now, so... Uh, now we'll... just attack. We've got like a lot, a lot, a lot of tails, so it would be really unlucky for us to get another one. But uh, let's see. Let's go for it, Zapdos. Thunder. Okay, okay, okay. So she ultimately did, you know, avoid the damage with smoke screen, so... Which is fine. Because luckily with smoke screen, I mean, it basically takes the first coin into account, and we didn't have to flip uh, for the coin for the damage to ourselves, so that's lucky. Uh, okay, this is kind of what I wanted. So we have Spiro. So let's switch. One thing you can do to avoid smoke screen is you gotta check this out. Yeah, um, if the defending Pokemon tries to attack, it says that, but basically that only applies to the Zapdos. So to avoid the repercussions from um, uh, smoke screen, you can actually switch. And yeah, uh, Spiro here won't be affected, so let's pick. And then Spiro has free retreat, so next turn, I can switch back to Zapdos and Thunder it for the final blow. Yeah, because smoke screen can be kind of annoying, and, you know, sometimes the coin will do tails like a lot in a row, so... Uh, ooh, energy retrieval, that's very good. Um, let's use this, discarding this Pikachu. 
take the two lightning in our graveyard in our discard pile switch back to this Zapdos um, in the meantime we do have two lightnings so I will get Spiro going and we'll Defender Zapdos and let's use Thunder baby nice no damage to ourselves okay okay this is really good Zapdos is is clutch is like Zapdos is going all out in this duel. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, this Nine Tails can be dangerous with Dancing Embers. Flip eight coins, that's a lot. Does 10 damage times the number of heads, so. Yeah, usually Courtney will do, we'll get about five heads. You know, I'm just letting you guys know, like, she gets really lucky with this attack, so don't be surprised if it does, like, 70 damage to you or, you know, you know, a, just a lot, a lot of damage. Uh, how many did she get? Did she only get three? Oh, my God. Is that... <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's not get too uh, hasty here. Let's put this lightning on the other Zapdos. And you know what, Courtney? We've got all four uh, lightning energy on, so why not? Thunderbolt! <laughs> See ya, Nine Tails. 100 damage. Oh, yeah. And we get another defender. Good. Oh, dude, she doesn't even have energy on this Moltres. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, we're doing really good here. Uh, ooh, okay, so I think I will... Let's put this energy on Spiro. Evolve to Spiro. Um, and I am going to gambler here, so... Let's just throw down all of our Pokemon. Um, I don't really see the reason to do this, but let's just Defender uh, Spiro. In case I get lucky and draw like a Switch card or something. Okay, no, no, no. I only get one card, which is Gust of Wind, which I don't want to play. Uh, this Moltres isn't nearly as good as the legendary one, Wildfire. This Dive Bomb takes 80, so, or takes uh, four energy. Yeah, definitely not as good, so we'll just skip. Man, I'm surprised she didn't throw in her, uh, uh, like, Volpix, considering uh, she only needs to do 10 damage to us, but, uh, We'll just skip in the meantime and power up our bench Pokemon, because it looks like she's going to beat us to the race as far as uh, pumping up her bench Pokemon. Ooh, we got the other Raichu, though. And this Raichu can take a hit if she gets heads. So I may start pumping up Pikachu once we get more energy. So, Oh, and she she's out of energy. We're both out of energy. Wow. Um, and in fact, since we're both out of energy, this is actually a good point to... Let's see, pump up Pikachu or Zapdos? Well, Zapdos has, a uh, Yeah, 90 HP, right? Right. Oh, but the Thunder, I might damage myself. Yeah, ultimately, I think it makes sense, since I do have Raichu. Just pump up this Pikachu in the meantime. Yeah, that does make sense. Oh, she retreated. Oh, my God. Yeah, like, I'm surprised she didn't throw in Growlithe or, uh... Or this Vulpix to start. Oh, but the good part is that Vulpix only has 10 damage left. We can actually kill it with Spark. Oh my god. That's like... Dude, that is best case scenario. Okay, yeah. Knock me out. Knock me out, Courtney. Oh, dang it. Okay, okay. Well, we can pump up other Pokemon in the meantime. Double Colas? Um, we'll save the Double Colas. Um... Looks like I've got enough energy on everything for now. And we know she likes to use energy removal, so... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, Courtney, okay. Okay. Man, we're just both stalling out here. Um, but the good part is she's not putting energy on her stuff either, so... This is kind of epic. We're just both skipping turns, like... Oh my god. <laughs> I've never had this happen before, especially in a Grand Master battle. Okay, there we go, there we go. Player, okay. All right, something's happening now. So here we go, boys and girls. Let's throw in Fero for now. If I get Pikachu in energy, ooh. Ooh, okay, okay. So we can knock out Vulpix this turn. Let's evolve this Pikachu to Raichu. And I hate to waste the double colorless, but uh, let's throw down this other Zapdos. I can also use Gust of Wind, and that's probably a good idea, actually, because this Moltres needs four energy to attack, or two to retreat. So yeah, let's throw in that Moltres, 
and let's just start attacking her bench with that Pikachu, because I'm sure, I'm really, really sure I'll get a lightning energy here. So, yeah, I did. Um, and item finder, that's good. Yeah, we got plenty of energy. Let's do this Pikachu, retreat. All right, Pikachu, Spark. And this is why Spark is good. This is why Spark is good. Throw in something up there that takes a lot of energy. Knocked out the Vulpix. And all we need, guys, is one more prize. And we beat Courtney. And we just drew uh, uh, Raichu, too, from the prize pile. Oh, this is really good. This is perfect. Perfect. This one takes four, right? Okay. Um, well, I will go ahead and evolve it. Just to use agility and... Okay, now we avoid, like, any shenanigans. Any shenanigans. Since we got the hits, she can't damage us next turn. What you got, Courtney? Pokemon Trader? Thank God you didn't play that, you know, uh, five turns ago. We were both stalling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she does have that to, you know, easily find her Moltres. And she got two. And three. Yeah, usually she'll get like three or four, and she got the max four, so. But it's, you know, what are you gonna do? Throw in your Moltres, your other Moltres? She didn't even retreat. We win, we win, guys, just like that. So, Raichu, there you go. No need to even get the Defender, because we've got a Thunder. And just like that, guys, we beat the first Grandmaster, Courtney. Nice, in an epic duel there. I can't believe we both stalled out, oh my God. That was awesome. All right. <laughs> I lose, but that's no surprise. Seeing as how you've come this far, your next opponent is waiting for you. All right. Very good, Floodmon14. Your second opponent is Steve. Steve the Stupid Hat. Steve Arcana. I, Thunder Steve, am your next opponent. Wahaha, I mean controlled by Master Malik. Hey, do you want the legendary Pokemon cards? Then you must defeat me first. Wahaha. Is your deck ready, Flood? Uh, one thing you can say is prepare for the, the, the duel. You can say uh, yes. And with that, you can actually save here in between the uh, Master uh the, uh, you know, kind of elite four matches, which I do like. So we are going to save. 